everybody, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms right. game. So in my last video, we finished building the robotics lab for the Big Hero 6 event, which was totally awesome. So hopefully we will be unlocking Baymax's golden chips today. But first, here is Rapunzel. Rapunzel is now level 3. That was amazing! Let's do it again! Awesome! So I'm going to collect from some of my characters here, and I think we'll have some dialogue from Mickey and Minnie. Here we go! Mickey Mouse, you sounded wonderful! Gee, thanks! You sounded real pretty yourself! And the guests seemed to enjoy it! You know, maybe we should make this a regular show! Yeah! The Mickey and Minnie Vocal Harmony Ukulele Trumpet Show! Quest complete! A night out! Or the Minnie and Mickey Vocal Harmony Ukulele Trumpet Show, huh? Oh dear, they're so cute! I love it! Alright, so I'm using the Gathering Spell from Merlin, which is super useful. That's probably the best thing that Merlin can do. And here's Wasabi! Wait! These signals Fernando was sending back and forth with Baymax and, and all the other bots, they almost look neurological. It's like the bots are repeating one thought over and over. A thought that was so strong it bounded them into a hive mind. Yeah, and it's a familiar thought too. I remember that neural pattern from my brain chemistry class. It's grief. But that doesn't make sense. Those bots aren't even human. How could they possibly grieve over something the way a human would? Oh my gosh! What if Yoki's personality was so strong that it imprinted on his microbots? What if it's his feelings that... Quest complete. Cracking the code. I think we can help that hive mind, Wasabi. And I think we can help Hero and Baymax too. Hero, stop! Wasabi and I, we figured out what's going on with Baymax. We know how to fix him. Honey Lemon, I get that you guys are trying to help but I'm so close. I've almost worked out a patch that'll... That's it though, Hiro. This is the kind of problem that can't solve with just code. We can help, but you have to trust us. Oh, okay, I'm listening, but whatever fix you guys come up with, we still have to get close enough to Baymax to use it. Prognosis! Fix Baymax! Yeah! So the electronic chip here, we've got honey lemon and wasabi, scientific strategy, for four hours. So I guess that's gonna be a common theme. Four hours! Whoa, look at honey lemon! She just passed wasabi! Whoa, she is kicking butt! Wow, she is a sprinter and a long distance runner. Look at her go! Now she has to wait for him. <laughs> She's like, okay, tick tock, dude. Oh, look at that. Sweetness. So now instead of fighting Yogi, they are fighting Baymax. This is super great. I love it. Que pasa, hero my man. That's French for I'm back, by the way. My folks flew me back to the mainland. Something about a breach of the family tiger preserve? I don't know. Anyway, what's shaking? Fred, that's not how you say, oh, never mind. I need your help distracting Baymax so I can stop him from destroying the city. <gasps> Baymax turned evil! Is this a brainwashing scenario? An evil clone scenario? Or, know what? Talk later. Fire Blast now! Fourth of his name, send Fred to help out with Baymax. 
All right, come on, Fred. Four hours, he can do it on his own. So if you guys have invested in Fred, he will come in handy right now. Wow, wow, wow. He is a huge asset, and we have not seen Fred actually go after Yogi or Baymax, so this is gonna be a first. We're gonna actually be able to see what Fred can do in and around this whole area here of the Cray Lab, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's, uh, what's going on with that in a second here. Just gotta collect some magic. Okay, so Gogo and Yogi can uh, actually work together to get these chips. That's insane. Kind of scary though. Baymax bundle. So you can buy Baymax and his backpack stand right now if you go to the shop. Um, let's see, $13.99. So yeah, I guess us people that actually want to just bring Baymax in on its own, we don't get that luxury of the backpack stand. So they're encouraging us to do that. You can also get the event currency bundle for 250 gems and 15,000 event currency if you guys are low on that. I'm not doing that because I think I will be just fine. So those golden chips are gonna be super important for me to collect um, over the next few days and hopefully I'll be able to get them, bring Baymax in, um, and then finally be able to start collecting for his armor, which is so great. But first things first, we gotta attack one thing at a time here. Wow, okay, so all of those characters are now gonna be super, super useful for going after Baymax. So we need to get Baymax unevil. He needs to be normal again. So we need 10 of the chips. They are going to be, I believe, epic to get. So that is gonna be quite a bit of work. But we'll see what the drop rate is. Um, so I think through the rest of this video, that's what I will be trying to do is showing you guys roughly what the drop rate is for these um, for these characters going ahead and showing us what they do best. Hero, whew, that was a, a creative use of holographic projector, but I think it got the job done. Hopefully Cass won't notice that the hero in that lecture hall is a hard light construct. And hopefully that hard light construct can actually lift one of her care packages. Quest complete, perfect attendance. Anything under 10 pounds and it shouldn't glitch out, probably. Uh-oh, it's gonna glitch? That's no good, we don't need that. That's actually pretty amazing though that Hero could actually do that. That is very, very cool. That uh, just a hard light could actually lift 10 pounds. <laughs> Fred! Okay, Hero. I've given it some thought and I'm pretty sure this isn't Baymax's evil twin. He doesn't even have a goatee. I... That's great, Fred, but I'm really busy right now. Gotta fix this. Gotta fix this. Whoa, that's some single-minded dedication to superheroics you've got there, my dude. I respect that. Well, if you ever need more help saving Baymax from that mummy's curse, you just say the word. Quest complete, fourth of his name. I'm just kidding. Mummy's curses don't exist. That's definitely a mirror universe doppelganger. Yikes. That is scaring me. Mummies? I don't think I can handle that in Disney's Magic Kingdoms. Maybe at Halloween I could, but like that, that's it. Can't have it going on in the summertime. Like this event. It would be too traumatic. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the golden chip drop rate. Hopefully it is as successful for you as it will be for me. Fingers crossed. All right, so I've got two of the magical chests to open here. So let's see what I get inside. San Francisco bench. Yeah, not that useful right now. I need a golden chip. I wanted that golden bot fighter trophy, but I got that. Now a Zen fence. 
<sighs> okay. Well, two useless chests for me. What can I say? Yeah. I know some of you guys had two golden um, uh, chips in your magical chest. So that is pretty awesome. And you guys are super lucky if you managed to get that. Or even a golden bot fighter trophy out of it for sure. Alright, so here, I don't, I don't know why we get an amber chest reward because that's so Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, popsicle stand! Let's blow this popsicle stand! Yeah! I don't think I need it in my kingdom right now, though. I don't really have the room for it. Well, I mean, I do have some room, but I need to figure out what I'm doing with that section of land once the event is over. It's kind of empty, but kind of not going to be very soon. I've got some stuff I can put there. I just not sure what I want. Not sure. But Frozen is back, guys, exclusively in Legendary Chests. I have, um, well, most of the characters, I was going to say all, don't have all. I'm missing one very important dude, Hans, the evil villain. And my odds are not very high of getting him, but there is also Olaf's holiday costume, which is unlocked after you get Olaf. Um, I also have, let's see here, ooh, didn't realize. I got the holiday outfit for Elsa and Anna still to do. Um, that would be super awesome if I could have them walk around in the kingdom with that. The Wandering Oaken's trading post, that is an attraction. We've got Minnie's holiday outfit, which, oh my gosh, I need to have that for her for Christmas. Guys, I have to have it. And a Troll Knoll attraction. So that one is kind of out of place in some ways. It should have had some snow on it or something. I don't know. I don't know how good it'll look in my Frozen section. But anyways, let me know in the comments if you want me to open a Frozen legendary chest. Um, we still have the Lion King as well, guys. Um, I know I asked before if you wanted it. Didn't get enough comments on that. So let me know if you still want the Lion King legendary chest pack. And oh my gosh! Guys, we just got two golden chips. That is totally awesome. Whoa. Okay, so I feel bad because I know some of you have been having trouble with this chip drop rate thing, but this, come on, this is so good. I'm already at five. And I've done like, what, three rounds now? So that's not, that's not too bad. So if I have another three rounds with this with eight days to go, I think I'm doing okay here. Um, so hopefully I will have um, all the chips for Baymax in the next day or so. It shouldn't be much longer with than that. Um, but again, you can buy the bundle if you guys are trying to bring Baymax in and want to start collecting for the costume. That might be a good idea. Um, it just it sort of depends on what you want. And then you don't have to spend gems on the backpack stand if you really want it. Like, I'm going to have to. All right, and here is Pumbaa. He is now level 7. We gotta celebrate! I'll see if I can find some of those real spicy millipedes I like. Oh dear. That sounded more like Pete's voice. I need to get, get my voice as it under wraps here. <laughs> so many different ones though today. It's been crazy. We had Mickey, Minnie, we had now Pumbaa, and Honey, Wasabi, Hero, Fred, Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna just stop saying them all because I've had so much dialogue today. Again, it's been crazy. I love all the dialogue though, guys. Disney's Magic Kingdom has done such a good job with the dialogue from this event. Except Yoki's, this has been a bit boring. Anyways, here is Mike. Feeling any better, Sully? Not really. Now I feel guilty and nauseous. Quest complete, a real pro part two. I think that fourth bowl of miso soup might have been a mistake. Uh-oh. Eating too much. Boy, am I hungry. Maybe I'll just stop by Cyclops Sushi for a quick bite. One of the benefits of being a local celebrity is that you can always get a table at the hottest spots in town. Life on top, send Mike to have dinner at Cyclops Sushi. 24 hours, okay, well, I guess see you later, Mike, have fun. That is a long time to be eating food. 
I'm just imagining him like eating consistently. <laughs> Ooh, we got a blaster token from a gold chest. That is actually a pretty sweet reward because that is for Zer. Yay! So I'm hoping to bring into my kingdom once I am all done the event. So hopefully I will be done soon and have all the tokens for that. If not, I actually think I've got all the tokens right now for um, Flora to be brought in. So that will be super awesome to just get her into my kingdom and start the Sleeping Beauty main storyline, which is gonna be super, super great and really, really fun. So I've got one gold chest and two silver on the go here. But besides that, guys, I think that's everything I can do for today's video. So I've only got one more character to bring in, and I'm very, very excited about that. And then after that, it's just the armor. So I can't wait to start collecting for that. And I will see you guys for my next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game episode. Bye!